Hello and welcome, my name is Sekiro and this is my Let's Play series of Europa Nacellis 4 where we are playing as the Ottomans. And right now we are trying to conquer the Arabian Peninsula and I think the next step is to go to war with Oman, so let's do that. And we will take, oh let's wait and see, these guys are Abadi, Shia, so we can call go to war with any of these without it costing us any piety. So let's just do this. And then as soon as we can we'll also declare war on Hormuz. But let's start with going to and see if we can take Muscat. And we all already got all of these uh, cores done. That was bloody quick. Uh, send that guy off. Might as well start building some more relations up here. So we are ready to start eating them when it's time. And we have some rebels in Tabalestan. And some... Samarkaland. So... Send you up there. I don't understand why they joined these small fleets when I told them to join this one. Some weird things going on once in a while in this game. Maybe we should actually get a higher level diplomatic guy since we're spending it all on on integrating right now. And since our king pretty much sucks in that regard. So, uh, can we? Well, we can at least go down and deal with this army. And we can also get a claim on Hormuz here. Which means we can go to war with them. Let's go down and deal with this Oman army. And one more conversion done, converting all those fetishists. Actually, let you go up here, we'll declare war on Hormuz. Send you up there. Oh, we need a... What? Can we sail around now? No we can't. So how, how are you gonna do that? Um, maybe we can't even get there. Let's put a leader in charge of this army and send them to deal with that. I think there's a good chance we can't get and that guy got we just we just hired him and he dies instantly what the I'll just take your 200 ducats and then you get nothing for it because we are sucks oh my effing f the oh and you can't get over there either oh sometimes sometimes this game I just want to cry Well, we don't probably should have kept that ship because it seems like we need a fleet over here. taking this land. Now we can get over because we control both sides. 
but of course does not apply to this even though we control both sides around this island I don't think we can get there because they are blocking it yes so we do need an army down there somehow for a navy Of course we can't count on our allies, because they have built two whole ships. Lose mercantilism and gain money, or gain diplomatic power, and lose another guy. Well, that's two guys in zero time that we lost. That's almost 500 ducats. So that's not frustrating at all, of course. This anger you're hearing from me is just pure happiness. The age of Cupriles, or something like that, born around 1575, so it's 25 years ago, 29 years ago, in the village of Ratnik in Albania, Mehmet Cupriles, or some, I don't know how to pronounce this, was a one Christian boy taken by the Dervishim system. Adopted and raised in the Muslim faith, just like most Janissary troops. He started his career as a cook, then moved to the treasury. A pasha in central Anatolia, he gained a name for himself as an excellent and honored administrator, a rare creature in the Ottoman Empire. On the 15th of September 1656, he was appointed Grand Vizier by the mother of the young Sultan Mehmed the fourth, uh, third, fourth. A fierce fighter of corruption, he enacted many successful reforms, rebalanced the budget, and led the war against Venice. After his death in 1661, his son Fasil Ahmad the Virtuous succeeded him and governed till 1676. Other Grand Viziers, such as Kala Mustafa, Mustafa Pasha, and Hussein Pasha, were that his direct heirs. So we can support them, get more tax, less corruption, or we we'll definitely do this. That's a lot of corruption. So, I guess we need to deal with these ships, so they have five galleys, so let's just build some galleys. It'll take so long time. Oh, my effing... Of course we can't get them, we could get a white piece with them. I think it's almost the best thing we could do, because we're never gonna... Never gonna get our fleet around, we're never gonna, gonna take two years to build ships. Oh, I should have thought about that. Of course I didn't. And at least now we can go get the rest of these. Let's just see if we can get his money. Yeah, let's give, give us some money. Do some conversion. Provincial unrest, I guess. There's a lot of that going around. And still just ahead of time. And you just take. Oh, and we actually have. Too much admin points now, so let's spend it on some development. And so we declare war on Hatha here. And why do we not have all of Oman? Why do we not have a hundred percent? Oh, they have a tiny island out here. Well, they can keep that. But we do need, really need to build a fleet here. I think that's that's a that's a a job that we need to finish soon. Let's see how much we can take off a man. Take that chunk. Is that includes? Yeah, that includes both of our claims. So I think that's fine. Take some money as well. Bye bye, Oman. 
you both go there and then you go there and go there Morocco wants to marry us but uh, no, why would we do that we want to eat you we start all of these cores Oh, and we need to finish the orbit Hasa before we can take that core. And Hasa also has this little island here. At least we can probably take that. Um, good music. More conversion. Send you all to the island. And it's beginning to look a lot more green down in this area. This portrait we don't need. eat them and another one bites the dust oh we have a missionary there we want the core first I set the missionary somewhere else so Another bunch of wars done. Let's say here, Kiva, are you ready to be next? Done. Oh, so we don't have enough points. Um, let's just start the process anyway. Get you guys up there. Fight that guy. So what is the next step? Golden Horde in the independence guaranteed by Muscovy. Muscovy, I think, has started to colonize. No. Not yet. Well, Spain is out of the coalition. So we could declare on Spain now. They are allied with the Knights and Trier which we've already been fighting. Um, so I think it's time that we start ferrying some troops over there. Do we have any uprisings up here? We still have quite a bit, so let's get you there. Uh, take this army, I think. Um, We have an army up here, we have one there, we have this one, we have this one, we have this one. Uh, so maybe we take this one instead. March him over here to the coast, then use this one to fight those rebels. So we have one, two armies. Oh, we also have this army. Don't want to bring this up. Probably want to keep that down here to fight rebels. So, let's see if we can buy a new army. So we have, I think three armies would be fine for Spain. Don't think they have that much power left anyway. It's more uh, a thing of getting through the war quickly. Got a bunch of pro core provinces. So, do we have any... Well, we can buy, buy a few ships down here. 
Let's just buy f four of these galleons here. Or galleons. Uh, they should be able to fight most of these smaller uh, fleets. Still, problems there. Let's build some more of these shipyards so we can get even more ships. Poland and Lithuania at war. Sweden as well. So, we move you guys here, I think. Take care of the Italian land first. Might as well march you down here. Get you over here, then we take one general for this one, one general for this one, and make a general for this one. And we'll have to pay for that a general, but that's okay. Yeah, plenty of points, and we are head of tech. So the Sultan in Mali, and I'm sure we have a right, so we can. Yeah, we just give them. Allow them to be a sultan. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um. Some nice countries here that we can take. Luke is there, we want to marry you. You're a friend. So how much army does Spain, Spain actually have? Spam, Spam, Spain, 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 28,000. That's a bit. So where do we want you? Um, I think I'll want to take these islands. This guy. Kind of diverge all three armies when we have to take mainland Spain. 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 I can't. I can't talk. Um, and this one will just hold the lion until the other guys are done. Anything we want to build. Um, Janissary land holders. By the 17th century, the Janissaries' power had increased to a point where they had made themselves both landholders and tradesmen. So we can get. Goods produced or national unrest. Let's just get the unrest. And let's set this guy off. And do we want. Definitely really want a general ship. I don't think I want this because they keep having problems. Well, I guess we'll just do it. Um, none of them are worth it. See if we can take some more land from them. Probably can get away with that. All of this land would give more money to me. Now earning 20 ducats, which is pretty good with a army of... How, how much do we have at this point? A standing army of 180,000 men. That's pretty crazy. So, um, gonna build a shipyard more. And then I think it's almost time to go to war with Spain, but that will have to be in the next video because this one is almost at the 20 minute mark. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next video and until then, have a good day.